Hey guys, welcome back to another One Piece deck video. Today we're going over Crocodile, uh, one of the starter decks, but in OPO3 it is incredible. Um, now, you might not know what he does, um, we'll go straight into it right now. Uh, 5 life, 5k power, normal 3 leader, um, who's one type. Uh, and his main effect, uh, Don minus 4, once per turn, return a character with a cost of 5 or less to your opponent's hand. Now, it's... It's a good effect because it can stop, it can get rid of blockers, it can get rid of attackers that you don't want. Um, yeah, it's a really good effect. Let's say there's a law on the opposing side, you can use that ability to get it back up in their hand so you can attack. Uh, it's a very good effect, very, very nice. But Don minus four, it's not what you want to do. At a late game, when you're doing your final turn, yes, it's amazing. But it's really not during the main game. Because unlike purple, you can't replenish the Don. Like, you can't manipulate how, how much you get in each turn and things. It's just not as good. It's a good effect, by all means, but you won't be using it all the time. Um, but yeah, nice leader. I oh, can't have a crocodile deck without crocodile. <laughs> uh, 5 cost 7k, it's a nice card. Uh, 7k is really hard to... Uh, block basically if you swing at their leader they have to do a 2k counter and a 1k counter which most people don't want to do because it's using resources um so yeah very good card quite hard to get rid of as well uh, and 1k counter as well same thing for dracul mihawk um dracul mihawk uh just another base card six costs 8k power very nice um as I said there's a lot of damage you'll most likely take a life or um if they do counter, that's really good. It lowers their resources, and they probably won't for other attacks. Um, and one key power is quite nice. Now we've got the Dofi from the starter deck. Dofi is an amazing card. Uh, 7 cost, 7k. 7k is good, as I just said before. Uh, on play, return a character of 7 cost or lower to your opponent's hand. This is really good. It obviously bumps up um, big characters, big blockers. Um, but if there's a certain character you know is able to attack next turn, it's like, let's say, they've got the Yamato down, the green Yamato. That is scary. Double attack, banish. You can pop Dofi down, bring it back up, so you have an extra turn to go against it. Um, or again, just against a blocker. Really good effect. Uh, very nice card as well. And it can slow them down because they have to use the 7 Don to put the card back down, which is very nice. We've got Mihawk, who does a similar thing, but slightly different. Uh, 9 cost 9k, really big. Uh, 9k is incredibly hard to get rid of. Um, and you'll have to use one big attack to get rid of it, which will probably be their turn. Um, on play effect, uh, place one character with a cost of 7, cost or less, um, to bottom your opponent's deck. So, let's say you're against Law, they are heavily dependent on their Zoro. Um, just pop down Mihawk, put it at the bottom of the deck, they can't do anything. Uh, or a blocker, or any really important card they have, put it at the bottom of the deck, they're not going to get it the rest of the game. Unless they're playing something like Nami, which <laughs> gets through the entire deck, they won't find it again for the rest of the game. At least in the set 3 meta. Um, absolutely amazing card. Very, very nice. Shame doesn't have any counter, and it's only 9k, but um, a brilliant card. Don't get me wrong. But Sentamaru, who's really nice as well, actually. Uh, free cost 4k, not the best. 1k count is nice, but his ability is amazing. Um, when you put him down, so that's 3 Don. Give him a Don, so that's 4. Um, and then once per turn, activate main, rest 2, Don. Search your deck for a cost of 4 or lower, there's a pacifista. Put it in your hand. Uh, not even put it in your hand, play it. I mentioned for your deck. Absolutely amazing card. Just get set up only using free Don. Um, get the blockers out. So I've got um, two different versions of Pacifista in the deck. Uh, I'm not sure if they're next or not, but you'll be able to see. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I've got it here. Um, got four cost 5k power blockers. Very nice. Search them off for Santa Maru. Um, I personally really like this card because you can have more than four in a deck. 
Um, it's very amusing playing uh, 50 of these and just one leader. It's very funny. But yeah, it's a good card. Um, it goes very well in the deck, especially since you can just search it out while attacking. Very, very good card. And then we've got the other pass feaster, 4 cost 6k. This is incredible, just um, basically using 2 Don and attacking for 5k and getting yourself a 6k for free, basically. It's absolutely amazing. Um, really good effect. If you have Centimaru down, they'll most likely try and bump it because they do not want you to get a full board of pacifistas. It's a very, very nice effect, and this card is very good as well. Both of them are. Um, a 1 cost 1k blocker for lore. 1 cost blocker is always amazing. Uh, if they're bringing out, if they're bringing out a massive attack, all their Don, just by blocking it with one Don, is incredible. Um, nothing to complain. I'm not complaining. It doesn't have any um, counter. It's <laughs> you can't really. It's absolutely amazing card. I got this Dofi, um, which is really cool from set one. Free cost 4k. It's nice. Not the best. Um, 1k counter is always nice. And he's a blocker, which is really good. Um, Shame it's 4k, because if 5k swing, you will die. Uh, you will need counter. But um, his on playability is actually amazing. Look at top 5 cards of your deck and return them back in any order. Or you can put them on the bottom of your deck. Um, absolutely amazing. You can choose which cards you're getting next. You can plan out your turn. So like, oh, okay. I can use this counter now because I'm going to be getting that in a minute. Um, absolutely amazing. You can, yeah, as I said, plan it out. If the top of your deck is nothing and you're going to brick, um, you can put the cards at the bottom to make sure you don't get them. Um, it's absolutely amazing ability, really, really good. And his blocker as well, which can't complain at all. We've got Kaya, one of the first cards from OPO3. Um, one cost zero <laughs> power, which is really annoying. On play, draw two, trash two from your hand. It's a nice ability to shuffle through your hand, uh, to recycle your hand um, and shuffle through the deck, but it's. That, yet again, it's not the best. Um, the 2k counter, that's amazing what you're going to be using it for mostly. Um, yeah, very nice card. 2k counter, always lovely. We've got Alvida, who's another 2k counter. 2 cost 3k, which is nice. Um, Don 1, when attacking, trash 1 card from your hand. Return a Prince character for a cost of 3 or less to the hand. This is a really good effect, so you can get rid of a blocker or any small attackers, but... It's, yet again, you're going to have to put on 2 Don to do a 5k attack, which isn't the nicest, and you're probably going to want to save it for 2k counter. Because um, this deck is good, but it's not the most offensive. It does have blockers and 2k counters, but you're going to need to save them. Um, got Mihawk, 4k, 4 cost, 5k. Uh, 2k counter is really, really good again. Uh, and then when attacking with 1 Don, draw 2, trash 2. Basically the same as Carrier, but um, when attacking, it's a very nice card as well. Uh, if you're in need of attackers, you can always put that down and then swing big. Um, attach two down and then swinging big and also recycling for your hand. A uh, very, very good card as well. Now, first two events, we've got Gum Gum Rain. Gum Gum Rain is a really, really nice card, especially when you have something like Mihawk in your hand, which you can't put down with a counter. Um, basically, no Dawn required. Trash one from your hand, and it's 3k power, 3k counter. Very, very nice card. It's basically, counts it as a 2k counter, and whatever, any, whatever other card you want is a 1k counter. It's a very, very good card. I personally love it. Uh, and the trigger is really good as well. Return one character for cost of 2 or less of the opponent's hand. Uh, can just get, if they're setting up like um, a blocker, let's say, and it's purple, but putting down the 2k blocker. Just use a trigger to get it back, or killer or something. Really, really good. Disrupts them, have to use more Dawn. But I'd probably save it for the event card, for the counter part instead of the trigger. I've got Love Love Beam, which is also good. Uh, two cost, 4k counter, which is very, very nice. And if you have three or less cards in your hand, draw one. Which is really nice. Um, good to get more cards, obviously, if you have a little hard card hand. Um... And 4k counter is always lovely. Always very, very good for one card. Um, 3000 Worlds, it's an also, also another card. I don't know if that's going to be the original wording of the card, but I don't know. Might have a different name, probably will. Lovely artwork though. From set 3, 
Four cost, um, place one character for cost of five less of your bottom view on his deck. Absolutely amazing. Basically does what the Mihawk's ability does. Um, it's a very, very nice card. Again, if you're playing Lore or something, get rid of the Zoros, put the bottom, they won't find it. Um, absolutely amazing ability. I really, really do like it. And the trigger basically does the same thing, but three costs or less. Um, it's just a really, really good card in general, to be honest. If they were searching through for that one card, like let's say it's four cost Uta blocker, instead of blocking two of your characters, uh, just use this, send it out, not going to get it again. Absolutely amazing card. Yeah, overall, it's a very, very nice deck. Not the best leader ability, but... Um, it's doing really, really well in Japanese, in Japan, um, which is actually this list is from there. Um, it's a winning list in Japan, so it's got evidence to back itself up, but it's doing well. Uh, here it is now. You can go ahead and change anything. I'm going to put it in the description. Uh, so all you have to do is import deck from clipboard and then just try it out yourself. It's a very, very nice cut. Very, very nice deck. Um, you don't need too much for it. I think you just need two blue star decks. Um, and the Mihawks and some other random cards But it is very very good card very very good deck. I mean Mihawks are annoying because you only get two in the starter deck um, But you can always add in some different 2k counter if you need to if you don't have enough to get the starter deck. Yeah, absolutely brilliant um, Brilliant deck. I can't remember what I went against because I recorded this quite a while ago um, But a good 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 gameplay video. I'm pretty sure it was against a uh, I want to say Kinemon. Um, it was a very, very close match. It was very fun. Um, I'm going to play that now. If there are any other decks you want to check out, please comment them down below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for watching. If you do like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. It does take ages to do these videos um, and find a good match to do and good decks. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Right, we're against Zoro. This isn't going to be. <laughs> this is going to be a bit awkward. You know, I'll, I'll keep that start. I'll keep that. Right, um... Let's see what version he's playing. Alright, um... Do I want this? Yeah, I guess I do. But I'll do that. That seems much better. But for now, it could be um, Zoro and Don on leader. Or they put down some more things like choppers. See, what are you gonna do? Attack the six. And then what? I'll take that one, sure. And then put them down over sunny. Okay. That's fine by me. I'm going to put Sentamaru down and attack for 7. But I want to get rid of the Sunnies. Hmm. Well, 5, I can... I don't need to do that now. I might as well just put down... Um... Crocodile. Yeah, I'll do that. There we go. Oh, it doesn't even say rest. This character. Oh, that's good. I like Santamaru. <laughs> it's 
it's gonna be cool. It'll cost a four or less, yeah. So we just got as many of this guy. Oh, I know, it's a block of four or five cost. I think it's four cost. Six, I'll counter. Seven, I will take. Oh, that's not good. Seeing that my past pieces are now in my hand, I might not be able to use Santamaru's ability. That's why there's eight in the deck, I'm pretty sure. And I have to be very careful when adding it in, because, um, you know, you can right click to add a playset of the um, card in. For the, um, the block of Pacifista, you can have as many as you want in the deck. <laughs> so when I right clicked it, it sent out 50. So I had to quickly <laughs> remove that. Um, yeah, I'll stick you down. Four left, I could... No, I don't think I need another Santamaru out. Send out another Pacifista. Let's just go five on, Sunny. Okay, so that worked. Seven on Zara. And I guess I will put down a pacifista. Sure. It doesn't say rest it, so I want to see if it does rest. That's what I'm interested in. He has not got a good board stay, which is nice. He's got Brook, who he can attack with. Um, and he's got 8 Don. Ideally... Ooh, he could put down a Luffy. Unblockable Luffy could be good right now. Okay, he's gonna... Um, donk it with an event. Bye-bye, Crocodile. At least that's what I think's gonna happen. Am I guessing bonked? Or are you just going to attack him? Come on, dude, hurry up! <laughs> I want to play the game! Five onto him, okay, I will counter with him, Pacifista. Or I'll do nothing. This guy cannot do math. Wait. He didn't put a Don on Zoro. That was a big mistake. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was going to come. I think I'm going to block that. Oh, that was funny. That honestly was really very funny. He has four Don left. So we can even see some setup, like putting down a Zoro. Not a Zoro, a Chopper or a Sunny. Or you might put down a Zoro. Oh, he bonked the one I thought he was. Okay. But he's going to go for the other one. It's fine by me. Um, so how much does this cost? Four, six, and then I get one. Okay. Uh, 
I think I'll get both of these then. Although, a Mihawk would be nice. Let's just attack the five. Attack the seven. No, I might just Mihawk and Dothi. Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. That is good. It is useful, but I don't know if I want it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna place bottom. Attack the six, which is gonna counter. Oh! I'll take that. <laughs> I always take a free life. As long as everyone taking it, not me, obviously. <laughs> Alright, we're pretty good right now. Shem's got to point your deck. He gets okay. So he's gonna get bonked with him. Yeah. That's fine. That's five Don gone. And he's been quite cost efficient with that. Cost of five to get rid of it. Cost of six. That's nice. And then there, here comes the Zoros. Bang. Most likely onto him as well. 6,000 or 6,000. Okay, I made. I should have blocked, but I can't now, so I have to. That was a mistake, I will admit that. Right, if we play this right, we can win. Seven. Nine. And then we'll go for 12. He has no count to events. There we go. That was fun. That was good one. I liked that. <laughs>